Hello, you reasons the succotash is suffering. Jim Sterling here, and this is Wrong World. It's out in early access at the moment, and the name alone made me want to check this out. Got a bit of a sleeping teddy bear kind of figure going on here. Let's hit play and see what Wrong World's all about. So here we are in Wrong World with a nice painted looking sky. It's don't look half bad. Uh, oh. Oh. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's like... It's like a first draft Ewok. Okay, let's... Oh. Off it goes. Okay, so here we are in Wrong World. Getting interrupted by saving. And here are some... What are these? Tree stumps? Oh, look at that. Punching. Uppercut. Um, there we go. It takes a while to actually line up a hit. There we go. Yeah, go on, go on. Fuck him up. Fuck that tree up. I think it's a tree. It looks like a tree stump, given life. It's taking a long time to... There we go. Now this one. Come here. It is so hard to line up a punch. Oh my god. There we go. It's, it's very difficult to line up more than one punch in a row. I wonder if they drop resources and we're wasting them all because they keep ending up in the lake. Oh well. This is a lot of them and it takes a lot of time to kill them. Can I just, yeah, smash rock. Oh. <laughs> He's nuts in it. What a fucking idiot. That's funny though. Look at that. And we got ourselves, what? Come, no, come here. How do I pick it? Oh. Copper ore, there we go. That was a sudden change tonight. Doesn't even look like it's night. It just looks like someone's turned the dimmer down on the light switch. But that's a fun sky. I'll say one thing for this game, it's got some interesting visuals. I've not seen an image that looks like this in any other game. Oh, he's doing a little dance. It's cute in a kind of I wouldn't let it near my children way. Anyway, let's let's get this well. I'm gonna headbutt this tree into submission, of course. It's better than punching them. Like all those Minecraft games. There we go, look. Yo 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 yo. Yo 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 yo. Come here. So the biggest issue this game has is targeting, easily. That's the immediate problem with this. Like not only is the little sod not locking in on anything. Oh my God. And they take so fucking long to die. Come on. Fucking hell. Yeah, look, see, they do drop things. Acorns, no less. So yeah, you've got to like really keep an eye on what it is you want to pick up. Make sure that they're dead in the middle of the camera. But there's no like targeting reticle or anything like that. So, oh, oh, oh dear. I fucking punch that too. I don't give a shit. Smash it up. This big ball of whatever. That actually accurately describes everything in this game so far. A big ball of fucking whatever. There we go. What, what's this? It's a stone. Oh. Not particularly exciting. That noise was amazing. Let's hit it. This runs away. Maybe it'll have precious meat for us or something. I didn't want you to get involved. I wanted the thing that sounds like a weird trombone. The trombone sloth. Here we go. Oh wow, it's a sudden change from night to day. That's actually stylistically kind of cool. Anyway, come here. And you, fuck right off. Oh god, it's got a little anus. It's got a little butthole. Look at that. Shameless. Oh, go away. I'm trying to look at a trombone sloth's butthole. That's a sentence that I've had to say today. And I had to say it. Come here. I want to grab wood. Inventory, which you open by pressing E. 
if you're interested. Use a shovel to impregnate the ground. Charming. Flapple, some kind of alien fruit with wings. How do I use it? There we go. Eating the apple. Plant it and grow something. I guess I'll need a shovel or something. Oh, hello. It's dog eat dog out there. Well, mouthless bear eat hedgehog sloth that sounds like brass instruments. Doesn't really flow off the tongue like dog eat dog does. Come here. Can't believe I'm punching a little animal on its butthole. How the mighty have fallen. So does this thing die or am I just beating on this poor fucker for- No, no, there we are. Precious meat. Grab meat, grab leather. Don't mind if I do. What the fuck is that? Is that a snake with legs? Oh my god, is that a big yeti with tiny legs? I'm not gonna fuck with that just now. I will have a go at this snake though. Look at- <laughs> Video games? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it makes noises. Okay, let's just hit it. So I'll say this for the game. It's got some potential. I like the fact that as near as I can tell, the only survival meter I have to worry about is hunger. Rather than, oh, you're thirsty. Oh, you're tired. Oh, you're ill. Oh, everything's going wrong. I'm, I'm a video game and I'm just going to complain at you and nag for hours and somehow you're gonna be convinced that's fun. It doesn't do that. I say right now, if <laughs> if it had a wider like area of activation mm. for picking up items, and if you know the, the character would lock on or target in any way and properly connect <laughs> with attacks, this would be, mm. I'll, I'll at least say one of the better survival games I've played on early access. <laughs> that's not really saying much. <laughs> But this is this is a survival game with potential. And I've not played many of those. A lot of them are so, you know, rote and trite and samey. And this is, you can't argue that this ain't something a little bit different. This snake's taking forever. Well, I'm gonna have to take back the praise I had for this one because now the character cannot interact with the world. Can't punch, can't chop wood, can't do anything. So, we're fucked. I guess I'm just gonna drown. Oh wait, no, he gets little goggles. Oh, why is this game so adorable? Why is this game so adorable and it's gotta piss me off? We'll find something to just do a sin, I reckon because there ain't nothing I can do. Oh God, it's just these little wombles. I don't know what the fuck that was, but that accomplished the job I was after. And I guess that's it. Oh look, it's all permadeath and shit. Oh fuck. That's more fucking like it. That's more fucking like it. Fucking smash him up, smash him up. I've punched him for so long. There we go, at fucking last. Come here. So I've got my punching ability back. I can interact with the world again. And I'm gonna take things nice and slow. I won't make you watch it all, but I'm gonna have a go at some crafting. And I'm gonna gather, well, first I'm gonna gather some resources, and then I'm gonna craft. That's how crafting works. I think. With this game, it's hard to tell. Ah! Tree trunk came out of the tree! I mean, that's... I mean, tree trunks come from trees. But an evil one! That's what I'm talking about! Evil tree trunk! Fuck off, evil tree stump! This is more of a stump, isn't it, than a trunk? It's a bit of a trunk. With acorn shoulders! And if you notice that sooner. Jack-o'-lantern faces and acorn shoulders. That's another sentence I said that, that makes sense within the context of this video de game. Anyway. Oh, God. Uh, inventory are too full for a flapple. But let's make something if we can. <gasps> Crafting. That's got a horrible little slit of a mouth, like, cut into its fur. 
And it really does look like a slit, like not a mouth, like someone got a, a switchblade and just slashed it across its gormless... It's not even a face. Like, what is that? Oh, God, you can zoom in. Ugh. It's like something out of Stop It and Tidy Up. Fucking inventory. Okay, we got ourselves an axe. Look at that. I pity any tree that tries to step to me now. Check it. Ha ha ha. Smash, smash, smash. Is there durability on these? I don't know. Whoa. Bits of tree falling from the sky. Come here. We're gonna build a campfire next, I think. Oh God, piss off. I want you getting invited. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with this first. Just deal with globule over here. Hopefully the axe will make things a little bit easier. I mean, I've still got to wildly smash the mouse key. The mouse key? The mouse button and hope, uh, hope I get what I'm after. Right, campfire time. Hopefully, if we've got enough. There we go. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Look at that. If I'm just, I'm near the campfire, be in the crafting menu. There we go. Three mushroom. Oh. Oh. Well, fuck. Yeah, I've only got one mushroom. And I'm getting hungry. I might have to risk just eating the mushroom on its own. Could be poisonous. Or I could just, like, fuck up some snakes and get their tasty meat. Snakes drop meat. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, they are quite funny. Two lovers here, huddling together, avoiding the rain. It's quite adorable, really. <laughs> okay, well, we got meat, and now a, a hunger notification is really getting in the way of the game. Thank you. Now, I've got to drop something because inventory is full again. Um, I don't know what any of this stuff is used for. Uh, you, just just no acorns, please. Not right now. We'll deal with those later. We have a hunger going, and the cure for that is some fucking meat. Now, let's just hope that my campfire hasn't been put out by the rain. Where is my cat? Oh, it's over there. It's been put out by the rain. That ain't great. Hang on. There's a flapple here still. You know what? We'll leave the mushroom here for now because we need another two of them. Boom. No, not that. Boom. Eat the apple, first of all. Might give us a temporary stay of execution. Ha-ha! Then just cook ourselves up some meat. Aha! Do that three times. And our hunger problems will be solved. Very temporarily. Get the cooked meat here. Yeah, it doesn't fill you up much, does it? Fucking hell. Cooking all this meat. It's one of my problems with survival games. Like, three steaks? It takes three... Like, I... I don't need three steaks. Come on. Video games. We built a shovel. I got a shovel now. So, presumably, I can bury a little acorn. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Bury something. Come here, acorn. Do a seed or an acorn. In goes acorn. I'll do that and all. I don't want the sand. Go away. Bury something. In pops the seed as well. well. Isn't that nice? Look, got a little baby tree. And presumably the rain will take care of the rest. We're making the world a better place. Little by little. So I found this cannon. And... You, you steer it in an odd way. You gotta... Wait, where are the arrows? Yeah, you gotta look at the arrows. 
and then light fuse, and then look, get it, climb in. There we go. Hey! Holy shit, we're gonna die. Oh, we're dead. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh. 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 Hey, hey! No health loss. Fuck yeah! It's another mushroom. Well, our axe broke. Our axe broke, our inventory's full again. It's a very small inventory for something that's gonna require you to have several different tools and weapons and things. That's a bit annoying. But what can you do? I'm pretty much done with this now. I think I've seen everything I need to see. Um, it's got potential. This is one of those ones that when it comes out of early access, I'd be tempted to have another look at it again. Because there are definitely things that need fixing, but I've not had an awful time. There are way worse things to play on Steam than this. It's nice to see a game this weird that is still trying to be a good game as well. Like it's still trying to be a solid crafting survival game. And honestly, one of the better ones I've seen because it doesn't fucking pester you all the time. Like it gets hungry and the inventory management's a real pisser, but, but you know, th those are easily fixed. But anyway, it is time to go. So I'm gonna sit in the lake and just wait for death to come. I hope you enjoyed the video. At any rate, we're just uh, any minute now. And that's Wrong World, anyway. One of those classic cases of a game that's better than it has any right to be, I think. It's alright. Yeah. It's alright. Bye.